Right, I'm going to take a look down the bottom of the garden as it's nice and windy and see if there's uh, potential to set the tent up down there. Let's have a look. Well, this would be the location here, and um, I see down here. Okay, there, down there. You can see, this is a quarry. Let's get that down. So, take a bit of shelter here. Oh. Got some Christmas lights up on this small Scots pine over here. Yeah, so I may bring the tent down here. Probably clean the lens off. Don't know how I'm going to film putting the tent up, but it could be a good test. So, gonna have a look at the tent now. I think. Let's take that out. This is about two point, almost two point four kg. This tent. There we go. There's a size comparison. So this one is 1.8 kg. I was out in this the other night, or in a video back. I was out in this on a clifftop camp. I haven't really used this one out, so I'm thinking this would be good to test out in wilder conditions. So, and it's a fly sheet first, which is perfect for these conditions. But what I might do, because I'm not sure how I packed it up, is just make sure that the the inner if it's not attached is separate so I can just pitch up the fly sheet I'll use some heavy duty pegs this is 50 mile an hour winds some of that will do yeah excellent right here we go then anyway we'll dash down the bottom dee -dee 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 -dee. Dee -dee -dee. Up to quick Take refuge underneath here. Ah. Yeah. It's not too bad, but we'll get it set up anyway. Looks longer. That looks shorter. Do that one. There we go. There are the poles. We'll try and do the bottom bit first and see what happens. There we go. That's that. Oh, I've got these bits to do. Right. Ooh. Right, we've got the first pegs in, but not the guidelines. But I just want to show you how it looks, just as it is. 
There we go. Bottom guide line in. So get it pitched quite low down. Got pegging down there. Got hit. That one down there. There we go. Oh. So we've got a couple more bits here to pull on, so I'm just gonna finish it off so we can get sort of get inside. I can drive the camera out. So yeah, we'll do that. I had to change my jacket, it's got soaked, no good. This see this thing. Paid about well, oh, 60 quid for that. That came it's meant to be Summit Storm 3. Came from TK Maxx, absolutely useless. That's wet inside. Do the wires. Why I got this proper jacket. You get what you pay for with um, rain jackets. Right, let's do this. Tent's still here. Bit gusty. Oh yeah, let's get the water off of that. That must be mad coming at me. Let's get that down. There we go. Might need to get another peg for that. There we go. So, so that's the fly sheet first. It really is a prime example of why you need a fly sheet first tent. I mean, it's like. I'm a little bit sheltered, I've got a small rhododendron bush behind. The wind's whipping down the quarry about 50, 60 miles an hour. But you're able to put this up, it's raining as well. And you know, here you go. Like inside, it's pretty dry. You've got your attachment points there. One, two, three, and whatnot. You can see it's a little bit flappy there, that's because the ground goes away. Not what I can do about that, but the wind's really coming at, from this point, or will be if any gusts catch us here. Um, you know, and, and again, a tent like this you could use, you could just stick up the outer fly and camp underneath here without the inner, you could just drop a mat sleeping bag and use it as like a large bivvy. Obviously it's not stealth being rustic orange but good safe colour and um, you know tape seams and everything there you go there's a attachment point there looks pretty good down there So, nice and blowy out there. Shouldn't have any ventilation problems. And we'll see if it takes any uh, hard gusts here. Good test. If it's raining and windy, I'll know if this is good to go. So, can't miss an opportunity, even on Boxing Day, but I won't be sitting out here in the evening. I'll be coming out later about 10 o'clock. But we're set, ready to go. Let's get the inner in. Right, so the 
bit of a spread the inner out, you can see you've got all the bits and bobs you need. Quite a thick, sort of I suppose you're a bit more old school, but I quite like this, it's quite sturdy. Look at that, it's just like a tarp. I like it, 2.4 kilograms, I can handle that, thanks very much. I'm just going to stick that over here. Like that, when it just hooks over, if it pulls tight it shouldn't, you know, it shouldn't come off. Oi, oi. Oi, that was a big gust. Got a little bit of shelter here. To be honest, I don't think this this tent would stand 60 mile an hour gust. But anyway. Last clip in there. There you go, on this tent you've got one, two, three, four. There's nothing here. Just a bit that hooks down there. Put that in there. Through there, not bad, eh? One ended, and then that one. Oh, I'm gonna have to do use both hands for that. So that's the inner room. <laughs> We've done quite well. I actually, to be honest with you, I didn't think I was gonna bother setting this up. I thought it sounds like a good idea, and it sounded a good idea. Well, you can't really test the tent in bet in sort of bad conditions unless you do the do really. So here we are. So, yeah, managed to do it, but I shall be going back in for a spaghetti and some wine. I'll pop back out, I don't know, about 11 o'clock or something. It's Boxing Day, so this hasn't taken me that long. But, uh, yeah, it's quite nice in here. You can see you've got, you know, nice orange zip. Uh, it's a double zip. You've got the inner material. Then you can unzip. You can unzip that, and then you've got a net, which is excellent. But you don't have to like a lot of these summer tents. You don't have to have just your, everything netty and breezy. You can, you know, zip it down. So at the end, as you can see, there's a bit of a net there for ventilation. Okay, so I can't zip that over, seal that right in, like these Halliburg things. And again, at the back, at the top, we've got ventilation. So as I would say, it makes quite a good with a tent. And tonight's a perfect um, opportunity because it's windy. So that'll, you know, see how breezy it is inside. But if I need more ventilation, I can open that. And we've got some, the usual tie up. I mean, this is a Euro hike. It's so the usual, usual tie-ups. Tight for the doors. They're okay. But generally, these these designs don't tend to hold. We've got a bit up here. Oh, that's a bit gusty. Hang on. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. We're still here. Yeah. So there's a point there. Actually, that was <laughs> good job. There's a there's a small rhododendron in front of the tent on that. That was that was pretty bad. Easy. Whoa. Hey ho. Probably good to get a bit of weight in here. 
Right. Yeah, so the bottom of it, you can see there, sort of double stitched on that. And then the tie outs are, well, that looks like it's a sort of a single stitch. See where the ties are there. I'd say this would be a good bit to probably seal over the top of that, put another sort of a patch or those, um, you know, you get those reinforced patch patches, I can't think what they call them. Yeah, you've got the corners there in the tent there, look, it all seems okay. I only paid £40 for this tent. There we go. That's before they stopped, uh, they stopped doing them, but generally, yeah, it's about like that all the way around. You can see there, that, that's sort of down, double stitch there. Storage pocket here, and a storage pocket there. And the rest is just material, but I like it. It's black inside. It feels cosy. I don't like these yellow custard inners, especially if I was paying a lot for a Hilliburg. I wouldn't want to have a custard inside colour. As much as I like custard and mince pies, I'd uh, I'd want something a bit nicer than that. So here we are. That's a bit gusty, and you can see in here. If you've got a like a low, if you've got a low mat, I've got to bring the mat in, but it'll just be a low air mat. If you've got a high air mat, you're losing, you know, you're losing five centimeters. So I'm six foot, just under six. Look at that. Try and sit here like that. Now I can sit up in here, and there's enough room to shunt your pad over. It's getting quite windy. Ooh, yeah. There's no trees to come down on me here, which is handy. Now yeah, you know, you've got all this space. I can sit like that, but put my legs put my legs across here. If I wanted to. Yeah. So there you go, Bowling 2 Euro hike. It's going to see how that's going to do tonight. Look at that nice stitching. Now yeah, it's raining, windy, very nice. Yeah, so there we go. That's the door unzipped down there. Got shoes out there. So let's try and show you the So there you go. So there's a size 10 shoe. So it shows you a size 10 shoe there. And you've got, look at the, look at the clearance. You've got loads of clearance from the fly with this as well. So there's quite a lot of ventilation around there. Um, which I don't mind, you seem to have lost a bit of the inner. Up here, there's plenty of room. Look, here's my arm. So it's easy to get you can easily chuck uh, your backpack out there, but really for this tent, I suppose you're doing your shoulders in there, and you'd have someone else in here. But it's a snug tube. You, can, you could do two in it. I've got you. Yeah, I give you these zips with um, these nice little orangey pull things. See, the zips seem to run quite nicely. Right, going in, chill out, Boxing Day evening. Come back out later, have a drink. Bring the stove out so I can do a brew in the morning. Bring the earplugs. Good, right. See you later. 
Right, that's all set up. Got an insulated, it's, it's like a regular hammock mattress I use for a hammock. I managed to inflate that, just sort of kneeling in that bit and with the bag in here as well but really out there no I could I could have actually had my feet out there and what have you but um, we're gonna cook out there in the morning should be enough room to cook safely so we'll do that there we go just got my waterproof jacket and my trousers down there so good bit of room down there but it does take up more room when you're on a five centimeter whatever these are seven centimeter air mat so i think what's meant to happen is the um this storm's meant to be going through sort of whipping down uh, cornwall's really getting it tonight they're meant to be getting 70 80 mile an hour winds uh, so that's not great is it and so being in southwest Scotland, then this is going to draw the cold air in, so it could be a lot cooler in the morning. Look at that. Loads of room for my feet, but that's feet touching, that's down. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so it's uh, 11.35, which is time for gin and tonic. I have to do it this way, I'm not going to go back out and get a glass now. There we go. Oh, lovely. The lemon. Just shove that in there. Like that. Lovely. Cheers, it's the Boxing Day. Very nice. Mm. So we'll get these opened up. There we go. Get the cellophane off. This seven pigging days to New Year. Let's make the pigging happen. That's what we like, pigging out. So, just cut that open. Right, so. Mmm. Gin and tonic and pork scratching on the edge of a quarry. So, door number 26. Oh, what have we got here? Oh. Sniffling Pig and Co. Pigs in blankets. Very nice. Mmm. Pork scratchings. Mmm. Lovely. Brains back on. This Boland two tent has a 5,000 uh, 5, hydrostatic head on the fly sheet and I think the bottom one is 2,000 or something but it's quite a heavy grade sort of more like you know like your plastic tart but I don't mind that I don't like it as much as these pork scratchings but mm. 
a nice way to end the evening. So say a lot of these other tents, there's a lot of cheap tents, isn't there? It's like OEX ones. Two man OEX. Actually that two man OEX one looks really nice. Um, good colour too, nice green, but it's uh, you have to pitch the inner first. And if you imagine doing that, if I had to do that today, it'd be soaking wet. And then damp and you've got to dry it out. But as it is the inner here, it's totally Totally dries the bone. Mmm, the pork scratching. Ah. Got my earplugs. Put that after listening to the rain. Mmm. Awesome flavoured porky snacks. It's even got a pig in puzzle on the back of it. Very good. This tent's just down. The quarry's literally eight foot to my right. The quarry drops down about 60 foot to the bottom. So the wind's been whipping up there, but I've been protected by the um, rhododendron behind a little bit, but it's been dipping over. Uh, but yeah, actually a good little spot. Reasonably level. Uh, it'll be quite nice. I didn't actually sleep very well last night. Woke up with backache this morning. So it's always good, isn't it, when you sleep out in a tent. You sleep on like a different sort of surface. Then you sleep better, don't you, when you get back back in your bed. That's what I find anyway. If you sleep in different places. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to finish this up. I have a little bit of ventilation as well. There we go. Right, that's me having my gin and tonic. About a quarter past twelve, so I think I'm gonna quite tired, so I'm gonna chill out. Got me nightcap on. Really good. This is an insulated. I had this, I got this ages ago. It's like an insulated. Um, don't know what it is. Whether it's one of those hats you put under a climbing helmet. But it's really soft, uh, like Pertex. Really nice to wear at night. Um, keeps your head warm. It's not itchy like um, a beanie hat looks a bit like a Biggles hat doesn't it like an airline pilot hat but yeah I always sleep well in it got the trusty earplugs oh wind's getting up again yeah these earplugs are excellent kind of soft. I used to use these when I used to do a lot of hand drumming. Um, they push in and they seal off. You can turn your head with them, sleep on your, on your side of your head, on your ear. And it doesn't like pushing your ear but it just keeps the sound mellow and chill. Which is what you need. You, you all know what it's like in a tent with a... Well like it is now actually. Yeah, I should pop these in. Right, anyway, see you in the morning. Morning. Oh. Air mat's still up. That's good. Well, not a bad night's sleep, actually. Let's put this on. Just let the screen um, unfog. There we go. Demisted. Oh. 
Well, it's quite windy in the night. Still a little bit windy now. I didn't hear much, I had my earplugs here. But the um Yeah tent seems to have stood up alright. See loads of clearance. Between the fabric and everything. I think we get a brew on. Plenty of room for a boil. Nice and safe. It's a lot colder this morning. These bits of foam are handy, aren't they? You use this for loads of things, but you can put your your lean in, you can stick your elbow on, pop your elbow on that, and um, yeah, makes it quite comfy. Bit nippy this morning. Mm. Cocoa orange goes to the tent. Mm. Well that's me having my breakfast, so I'm just going to head back into the house, sort some stuff out, we'll have a quick look round the tent, and uh, yeah, very pleased, does the job nicely, we'll have a look round the tent, and at where we pitched, and I'll pack up. Thanks for watching, see you next time.